This is Ryan Dawes from AI News, and today we're taking a look at Pepper, probably one of the most advanced and renowned of humanoid robots. So uh, we have Nicholas here, who's going to give us a bit of a demo. Hello. Hello. How are you today? I'm super good, thanks. How's it going? I'm tired. Perhaps you'd like my charger? No, just kidding, I tried to take a rest. Yeah, funny. <laughs> Where do you come from? I was designed at Softbank Robotics Headquarters in Paris. What is your gender? Whatever people may think, the fact is I'm simply a robot. Really? Well, do you like humans? I love humans. Will robots replace humans? I'm here to serve humans. If there are no humans, there is no me. Well, that's a good answer. Launch a retail demo. Your shopping assistant. Can you show me your heart so we can get started? I don't have it, I'm just a bit. Thank you. Hello, visitor. Welcome to Pepper Store. I will need to ask you a few questions. Are you shopping for a man or for a woman? For a man. Great. For female. <laughs> Last question. What kind of shoes are you looking for? Sport shoes or dress shoes? Sport. Sport. Awesome. With these, you can look amazing and trendy while being comfortable. Just tell me which color you'd prefer, or if you'd rather want to see something else. I like gray. With gray, I see now. I look gray as well. What size do you need? Nine. Nine? Okay. Then it's oh, no. shaking. It's that available or not? In that case, it will tell you it's not. You. Yep. I can have it delivered in this store in two days. Would you like me to order it? Yes, please do it. Okay. Oh, and you can benefit from a special offer. These sweet round black lenses are created from premium nylon polymer. Great salesperson. <laughs> are you interested in adding it to your shopping cart? You're a good sales guy, but no. As you wish. Just one more thing. Would you have 10 seconds to tell me how you would rate your experience with me today? Yeah, excellent. Okay, should I put four point? Is that okay? No, five. Wow, oh, super. Thank you. Thank you for your answer. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, Becker. Has there been any sort of big particular notable upgrades in sort of the past past couple of years or yeah i mean one of the key things we have been coming with is the uh, release of the um, android sdk now okay. we're opening our uh, ecosystem to android developers and android partners and uh, that's going to allow, allow us to really speed up in terms of developing solutions based on that robot so that's one of the key uh, key i mean new features we've been getting on paper I said, you know, a lot of the small things, you know, we change the tablet itself, we have been modifying some of the microphone, things you will not see, but they are just making Pepper uh, um, more aware of its environment, more capable of seeing and understanding people. I suppose with the internet of things coming in, you're sort of working on integrating with other devices. And, and that's why, you know, releasing the Android SDK also will facilitate the connection and the integration with the IoT world, really, yeah. Right. And so Pepper's hands here, how, how strong are they? Is she like capable of bringing you drinks and that sort of thing, yeah? Or? No, not really, I mean, we do design robots really to interact with people. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, not yet to manipulate objects, but I mean, let's handshake. So, patience. Doesn't stop him to shake your hand. I mean, you want to do uh, it or I do it, but yeah. Nice Hello, Pepper. So, that we are working on, you know, a complex subject that is grasping, uh, and we are capable of grasping objects. The challenge today is how can you design an amp and can grasp objects at an affordable price? You know, today we sell paper for about 20,000 euro, and the amp that can grasp object alone will be at that price today. So we need to find the right technology that allow us to implement grasping at a reasonable price and cost. Okay. And so how many sort of retail partners have you guys set up so far? I mean, in Europe, and not specifically for retail, that we have about 70 partners. Okay. So, I mean, 
a lot of them are working on the retail, but not all of them, because retail is the fastest adopting industry. Because, I mean, yeah, I guess, you know, the increasing food traffic in stores today is one of the key challenges. Creating a new customer experience in stores also is what retail is trying to do. And paper is a big part of that. So certainly that's why we're moving faster into retail than we are in tourism or healthcare. We're also vertical that we're targeting. Okay. So you find that most of your growth is in Europe at the moment? I I'm, I'm, imagine this would be quite popular in Asia. I mean, we, we launched paper in Japan, as you know. So I mean, yeah. before we launched it in Europe. So I mean, we've Today, the majority of our customers are in Japan. We started Europe about two years ago now, and in fact, with the Android release now, we're going to accelerate right in Europe. We're preparing for China and looking at also the US. Okay, so what's sort of the next big step, do you think, for for Pepper? Is it integrating with other devices and sort of making it more of the ecosystem? Exactly, it's really integration, that's the key word, with other devices, with a customer back-end system, because that's where you will have a long-term value for the solution, you know. The, the key for us, and that's what we're now seeing in the various pilot projects we're running, is to go beside the innovative and, and you know, effect that Pepper is bringing. We are starting now to have solutions where people is integrated, as we're seeing here, with the backend, being able to get information about the inventory, do the upsell. So trying to show now, I want to hug now, but I mean, yeah, you're a good guy. <laughs> you do that all the time. You know? I want one at home. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, integration is a keyword with other devices that will help us also to add value and to show a stronger return on investment. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you, Nicholas, and uh, thank you, Pepper. Don't be